Now let's spend some time on overload and overrunning clutches. The overrun clutch transmits torque in only one direction. In the other direction of rotation, the clutch free wheels. This is often used on disc mowers and square balers. There are several overload clutches. More powerful tractors place a higher load on the machines. To protect the driveline system from an overload situation, overload clutches are required. Let's look at the radial pin clutch. This clutch is often used in haymaking machines at 540 RPMs. Low torque spring loaded radial pins will interrupt the transmission when the torque exceeds the setting. Now let's take a look at the shear bolt limiters. These clutches have bolts that shear when the clutch is overloaded. This clutch is most frequently used when overload situations are the exception. To restore the clutch, it is necessary to replace the bolt with the same size and grade. Now we take a look at the most common group of clutches, the friction clutch. The first one is the open clutch. This clutch can be used as an overload safety device as well as a starting device with high starting torque. The torque setting is adjustable by resetting the length of the springs. The next clutch is the non-adjustable Belleville spring type clutch which is used for the same application as the previous one but cannot be adjusted unless you change the Belleville spring to a different thickness. This clutch is totally enclosed which keeps the friction disc out of the elements. A variation of the enclosed clutch is the spring pack clutch. 